Hey folks, so today we will talk about the privacy and uh, the modern internet. So, you know, uh, you already know that you have nothing, so you have nothing to own in the classical web too, because you have no concept of the ownership, everything belongs to the um, platform. And right now we have even um, um, another consequence of this fact that you have nothing to hide. You have nothing to hide, it's the motto that uh, from 90s uh, uh, selling to us, uh, not only from the platform, but from the classical business. So that, you know, the privacy is dead because right now in the digital space, we have no place to hide. And, uh, you know, every business wants to know everything about you. Not only your name, but your address, because, oh my God, how you will deliver the parcel that actually you order without knowing your address and all of the things. And you know, the offline world, it's uh, full of the pseudo anonymity. Yeah, so the, the guy who making you coffee in a Starbucks doesn't know actually uh, so much about you. So, and even if they ask your name, uh, they just don't care about the name. They need to put something on cap, but he probably knows that uh, you will show up every day uh, in some certain period of time and order some, uh, a particular coffee with some taste and so on and it, it's full of this pseudo-anonymous uh, temporal transactions so we do, do not create the permanent transactions uh, in a offline world so often yeah so you just get a bunch of cash you go buy something and disappear but the problem that the digital world actually do not have the concept of this uh, temporal and pseudo anonymous transactions. So, or at least in a systems that we know, yeah, we have a tendency to create the permanent transactions, uh, the permanent relations, and we uh, have this uh, uh, tendency to over collect the data about the user, even if he doesn't uh, need this data. So what's privacy actually is, and uh, is it really exist in a digital space and uh, is privacy a myth or is something real in a uh, internet so that's quite a philosophical question so if you will take a look to the definition of privacy uh, then you will discover something uh, about the personal space yeah so it's your ability to keep some uh, part of your identity information about yourself uh, private, yeah, so not visible to others. So you need some private space or some personal space where you could hide the information. And blockchain actually doesn't have this space because everything is public. Internet at the early beginning of the times had this space, but with the platforms actually they have the a private space where they could hide something from you but you don't have your space to hide something from them and this is the problem and uh, i already uh, told you that uh, this uh, pseudo anonymity it's a uh, one thing that we have in real life but quite often we don't have it in the internet but uh, what the rights uh, actually if you're talking about the privacy you have so you have the right to be informed you have the right to be forgotten. You have a right to control your information. You have a right to get the full services and do not be discriminated even if you uh, refuse to uh, disclose the data. And uh, what's more important that you have a right uh, not to be the subject of some automated decisions, objectivizing your uh, data and all those things because you know quite often the business say that if they anonymize the data it's enough it's a uh, enough level of privacy because it's the best that we could get but you know if this data will use to train the model and after that it will create the bias against the group of people that you belong then it's definitely not the, the privacy so the privacy and the same as the ownership it's not just about the anonymity observed anonymity it's about control so you have the full control on the data you have the full control how this data will be processed in which uh, processes this data will be used 
uh, and you don't want to be the subject of any kind of marketing or decision making or any other processes uh, that uh, use the derivatives of your data. So the privacy is always about the control and we need to have this control and uh, that's why the prerequisite for the privacy is the sovereignty and the sovereign data yeah, that you have the full control on your data, you have the full ownership of your data. So the privacy is uh, not achievable without the sovereignty and privacy is not the myth. And privacy is not hard. Privacy is easy if you try uh, well enough. And privacy is achievable if we change uh, the current digital order from this uh, personal uh, long-lived uh, total transactional systems to something pseudo-anonymous short-lived transactional systems because what I mean that when you, you know, offline buying the cinema ticket uh, the cinema theater doesn't care who you are, where you live, what's your email address are. Only one thing that matters that you have this piece of paper that give you the right to go uh, to this uh, place and occupy this seat for some period of time and see this particular movie. That's it. And uh, this ticket, it's not about you. This ticket, it's about them and some information that they capture and they give this piece of information to you. So only one thing that matters is your ownership of this ticket. And this uh, could be modeled quite good with the self sovereign data and verifiable credentials. Uh, actually, it's even lower the problems that we over collect the data because actually we capture some uh, specific data and give it back to a user as a credential. So privacy is not a myth, privacy is real, privacy is achievable, but for this we need to use uh, self-sovereign data and the new kind of identity that are more uh, data-driven and focus more on the relations, not on the personality itself. So it's what's matter. If you want to know more, first of all, on uh, Monday, in a LinkedIn, I will have them talk about the ownership and privacy and I will be happy to see you there and uh, to discuss this topic live with me because I will have a Q&A session. All, also, subscribe to my channel. I see that I have a lot of people that are uh, watching my videos without the subscription. Your subscription matters because it's helped me to uh, build my channel further and get something back actually from YouTube because right now I'm um, uh, not eligible for the monetization. So please help us build uh, this uh, better future, more private future together and see you on Monday.